suspected burglar is busted. Tulsa police say a local business helped them arrest a known career criminal. He's already been behind bars before. In fact, detectives say he's responsible for dozens of thefts. Two News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live from the Tulsa County Jail with more on the story. Jason. Well, Russ, detectives tell me that their suspect, Joshua Sanders, broke into another home in South Tulsa, then tried to sell some hot jewels. Ryan Reyes was leaving his office, Tulsa Golden Gym, when a lady pulled up and stopped him. She shows me a picture of uh, an item that was stolen from her uh, Tuesday this week. Reyes told her he'd keep his eyes open. Then the very next day, that distinctive piece, covered in diamonds, showed up. Someone was trying to sell it. Reyes knew exactly what to do. You know, call the police, number one. Do your best to, you know, keep the person in, in the store. And, um... You know, try not to look obvious that you're, you're onto something. They did the right thing and did a good job of calling us and letting us know. Tulsa Police That's Detective Gene Watkins says this case turned out to be the work of Joshua Sanders. He knows the 25-year-old pretty well. Uh, we've connected him around 40 burglaries before. In late June, Sanders led detectives to a storage facility where they found stolen guns and electronics, even silverware. Who does all that property belong to? I don't know. What do you have to say about the problems you've caused? Just a few weeks earlier, he'd been arrested for breaking into a home near 106th and South Sheridan. Some alert neighbors took the keys to his getaway car while he was inside, then called police. And now, the case of those stolen jewels, taken from a home near 81st in Urbana. Detective Watkins is trying to figure out if there are even more cases Sanders is linked to. And police say Sanders was out on bond from his previous arrest during this uh, latest uh, alleged burglary. Um, two other people were with him, actually, when he was arrested. They have since been released in this case. Point of line from downtown Tulsa tonight, Jason Grubbs, 2 News, works for you. All right.